Hello and welcome to Retro Bikes. So today we're looking at a wonderful Suzuki Birdie from 2012. It's a fuel injected model. And these are used in Japan as postal service bikes. So these deliver uh, bank documents back and forth to wherever they need to be delivered for. And I'll show you a few telltale signs as to uh, how these bikes were made for that specific uh, job. This one is in really nice condition. It only has 5,000 kilometers on the clock. So it's virtually new. Front tire has got heaps of thread left in it. Front headlamp and assembly with the indicators is original and is brought forward in front of this front basket, which is used for documents. So this is an original tarp for the Suzuki uh, Birdie. Uh, so in here you can put in kind of paper and documents and then seal it over and that then keeps the uh, documents nice and dry in the front basket. You can take this out as well and just have a regular basket, uh, which is nice and it's actually quite a large carrying capacity. Um, I would say it's probably near 20 liters at the front here. You also have here underneath is a light. If you see this light, that shines down onto the top box here. So you can see what's uh, in it so you can quickly decipher from when you're sitting in this sitting position uh, what you want to take out. As I said, only 5,431 kilometers. They come stock with um, heated grip. So this is a stock heated grip from Suzuki themselves. Horn and headline. No electric start on this model. It is fuel injected, uh, oddly enough. You can hear. Uh, black engine on these represents uh, fuel injection models. Uh, chain and sprocket uh, underneath here are good as well as the chain guard being present. That rear tire is in perfect condition. Overall, really, really good condition here. All the plastics, everything like that. Underneath then is virtually mint. Uh, really nice condition. This is the larger rack. They came with a, uh, two of these as an option. So you get a smaller rack or a larger rack. So this is higher capacity load on the rear. You'll see that the springs are kind of done up so it's quite high so they can take quite a bit of load at the back. The rear tire is good, like I said, original Suzuki exhaust on the right hand side here. Um, again, all pretty much brand new condition. Really, really nice overall. Rear brake light and indicators original. A slight bit of a mark down here at the bottom. 12D uh, Dublin Reg 2012 bike. And uh, that's it really, two original keys from Suzuki itself. And uh, yeah, that's it. Really nice Suzuki birdie. Good story behind it as well. You have reflectors on the mirrors to keep you safe too. So let's go for a ride. Okay, we're on to our next uh, Suzuki birdie. So I've already been out one of these days, it had 200 odd kilometers on it. Um, so this one, I'm presuming will feel pretty much the same. Kicks first start, or first time. We'll put on the heated grips. See how they feel by the end of the trip. But again, I think I was saying on the other one, feels very, very similar to a Honda 50. Um, I think the fueling is a lot smoother, given it's not a carb. Um, so you probably get a bit better um, a kind of uh, mileage out of it, or not mileage, MPGs, if that's what you're looking for. The only other thing is like, you know, the benefits really with carb is it's quite easily fixed. Um, yeah, the carb is quite easily fixed. You know, the parts are kind of abundant if something goes wrong. Uh, whereas the fuel injected can be quite costly if your fuel system gets clogged or goes wrong or whatever it is. Um, but on the other hand, there's no real um, there's no real maintenance on a fuel injected model where there's probably going to be maintenance on a carb. You know, if you leave a carb, you know, if you leave a bike sitting for three to six months on a, on a carb, uh, you know, it, it, it sometimes, um, you know, it clogs up and then you need to do a, and then you need to do a, uh, then you need to uh, uh, do the carbs. You need to clean the carbs out. So that's kind of it. That's the kind of main difference with uh, fuel injected and uh, fuel injected and uh, carbureted models. So if you're looking at the two of them, even our Honda 50s that we have for sale, that's kind of the main difference with the carb versus the fuel injected. 
they do feel a bit smoother the fuel injected uh, models than the carbs but uh you know that's just only really me i don't know because i've been on so many of them i can kind of somewhat feel the difference but if you're coming from not knowing then you wouldn't there, there'd be no difference if you got on a carb model you probably think it's pretty much the same whoops I went down into first gear there, that was not good. Tusi, can you just um, uh, edit that out and then cut in here? Oh, okay, just had to edit that bit out. Um, had to stop there uh, for the person on the road there. So, but anyway, otherwise uh, the, um, what you call it, grips are heating up nicely. Feel really good, uh, super, super nice. Let me just turn right here and we'll go down oops I would say I'd say I probably prefer the gearbox on a Honda 50 but again this is cheaper it's coming in cheaper they're a bit more a uh, newer model you know low mileage you know so it's kind of just down to you on what your preference is this does have a nice front basket big rear rack and it's uh you know pretty much brand new so the condition is is, is really immaculate right indicators front left indicator working uh rear left in indicator working brake light working there we'll get on the right indicator rear right indicator working front right indicator working and uh front headlamp we'll see here now if we uh, turn it on uh, so our front headlamp needs a needs a bulb. You can see the light coming on here. And this now, just in case I'm not doing anything stupid here. No. So the front headlamp needs a bulb. Other than that, the heated grips, everything really, really nice. I presume it's just we'll just take out the bulb. Everything else is working, so I can't see it being anything else. So that's it for the second of our two Suzuki birdies. I think we have one or two more in stock, but uh, that's kind of it. If you have liked the video, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If uh, you do want to reach out to us, we're available on Facebook and Instagram at RetroBikesDublin.com or RetroBikesDublin. And then our official website is www.RetroBikesDublin.com. Thanks for watching.